Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about new codes of evolution for the planet and humankind. And the topic for this video is new codes for the spirit. So the spirit, we are talking about the invisible. We are talking about religions. We are talking about everything that has to do with connecting with forces and intelligences that go beyond this physical body and this mind. You know, something that is vast, angelic forces, nature, uh, planetary intelligences, and so on. So, you notice that right now on a large scale, you have different religions which are fighting with each other over which one is the right God and which one is the right system. And these conflicts that are, you know, messing up quite, quite a lot with peace on planet Earth are... Um, opposing each other, like trying to convince each other that their system is the right one. So you have thousands of different gods on this planet and everyone is trying to convince everybody that their god is the right one. And deep inside, you know, you're a smart person, you're watching this video, you are a smart person, you know that all these gods are just different expressions of the absolute. It's just different names for the same thing. We all know that, don't we? I'm sure you do, you feel it. You know that when we say Allah, or we say God, or we say the absolute, or we say the universe, or we say natural intelligence, or we say cosmic intelligence, or we say the cosmos, or the, the galactic core, we are referring to just this place in our energetic space that brings us back to the source, the essence, nirvana. You can call it whatever you want, the point is that we are all aware that we just use different words to say the same thing. And everybody's talking about love and everybody's talking about respect. So how come these systems, religious systems or belief systems, they turn against each other and they start trying to fight, you know, a war that cannot be won? Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Everybody's right and everybody's wrong. <laughs> you know, everybody's right. More, let's, let's put it like that. You know, your system works for you. It doesn't mean that it must work for everybody. It's called tolerance and acceptance. We need to work to start activating the code of respect for each other. And, um, you know, I would say that probably 80% of people on this planet are, are able to do it. But the ones who are not able to do it, Man, they, they go to war, you know, they fight really hard with each other and that uh, triggers a whole chain reaction of consequences on the level of the planet, which is not really right for us. So we need to demand peace. We need to be in a place where we are so committed to be respectful for each other that uh, there is no way I'm going to attack anybody who doesn't have my beliefs. There's no way. I'm going to look at this person and say, you know what, I, your belief, I respect it. It's not my belief, it's not what I function with, it's not what guides me, but I respect your belief. I encourage you to practice your belief. I encourage you to develop uh, systems and rituals around it. I totally respect that and I'm going to be honoring and holding space for you to have the right to practice that. So, did you hear what I just said? Imagine that everybody on the planet Earth would say things like that. What would happen? We would be at peace. Great. Fantastic. This is what we are craving for. So religious systems right, la right now, they are, you know, attacking each other. They are in conflict. They are in power struggles over who is controlling what. And so we need to come back to a place of respect and come back to a place of unity where we share, we shake each other's hand and we say, you know, I respect you. I respect your beliefs and the fact that we disagree on some specific aspect of some sacred text doesn't mean that we need to kill each other, doesn't mean that we have to hit each other, doesn't mean that we have to hate each other. I love you, no matter what your belief is, I love you. You are a human being, you are part of the human race, we are one human race. One human race, okay? That's the thing that we need to go back to. That's one of the core codes for the planet humankind concerning the evolution of the spirit and religions. I hope you get it. Please practice it. We need more of that. I'll see you soon.